Oh, my head's cut off. I'll just sit down. Thick thigh problems and uh, pretty common around here. There you go. All mended. people today I'm sharing with you a very common mending problem that a lot of people probably come across and that is mending holes in jeans I have two pairs of jeans here a pair of my husband Lane's jeans and a pair of my maternity jeans both with different sorts of holes and I'm going to show you how I mended them my maternity jeans had a slit in the fabric across the thigh where the fabric had split from each other so I'm showing you how I mend that type of a hole Lane's jeans had a very drastic hole in them where the fabric had been worn away Way. so I had to do a more extensive fix on those pants so today I'm going to show you how I mend two very different types of holes in jeans if you've never been to my channel before then welcome my name's Marie and this channel is all about motivating mums to make and mend I'm currently 27 weeks pregnant as I'm filming this though I'll be releasing this a little bit in the future so you won't be seeing it in real time and I mended these jeans when I was doing a week of quick fixes if you missed that video I'll make sure to link it I achieved a lot this week and mended Mending these jeans was just one of the projects that I worked on. So if you're keen to see the other projects that I mended this week, including these pair of jeans, then I'll leave the video linked in the description box for you to have a look at next. I'm sure a lot of us end up with jeans with holes in them. This is a very common problem. I'm sure that you've clicked on this video because this is a problem you've faced too. So let's get straight into the tutorial of showing you how I mend these jeans. Let's get making. Mama mends jeans. This is a pair of my maternity jeans that I've been wearing. I bought them secondhand for $5, so they were already pretty worn before I started wearing them. Um, and they've started to tear just here on the thigh. Uh, thick thigh girl problems. I don't know if uh, anyone else is the same, but it's a pretty common thing for me, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, it, sh it should be a pretty simple fix, this one. I just need to sew along that tear there. Let's thread a hand sewing needle with this cotton, which is the closest match to this colour. Turn the jeans inside out and we'll start hand sewing through this little hole here. To mend this hole, I'm first going to reinforce both sides of the hole and then I'm going to sew them together. In order to reinforce the sides of the hole, I'm using a blanket stitch. To do that, I'm putting my needle through the back of the fabric and then as I pull it through, before I pull it through the whole way, it, when it's still got a loop there, I am putting my needle through the loop so that it creates a straight line across the top edge there where it's frayed, as well as the stitch going into the fabric. So again, I'm putting my needle through the back of the fabric and as I pull it through the front, it creates a loop, which I insert my needle through before making the next stitch. If you'd like more details about how to do a blanket stitch, I could make another video about this hand sewing skill. I have made hand sewing skills videos before which I'll link down below, but I haven't included the blanket stitch in those. So if you specifically want to know that, just let me know in a comment below and I could make that video for you. So you can probably tell here that I've sewn that blanket stitch along this top section here, which has given it a bit more stability. Whereas this bottom section where I haven't done it yet, you can still see it's fraying and it's quite flimsy and thin. I'm actually gonna take the stitching out a little bit further because I can see it's still pretty weak here. I can see that line there. So I'll do a few hand sewing stitches here to just strengthen up that weak point. Blanket stitch along this bit and then both sides will be a little bit firmer, a little bit more strong. And then I will just uh, slip stitch these two together to close the hole over. So again, here I am just blanket stitching the other side to make sure that both sides of the fabric are nice and firm, ready for me to sew together. I've done the blanket stitch there to reinforce both sides. And now I'm going to do a slip stitch to join these sides of the fabric together and uh, we'll close the hole over. So let's do that now. I'm just picking up some of the fabric from one side, picking up the fabric from the other and pulling. So I'm mostly picking up where the thread from the blanket stitch is going through because I know that that is a strong stable thread. Um, whereas if I was just picking up the edge of the jean hole, um, it's very likely that the, this thread that I'm putting in now will just slip straight through as it frays more. But having reinforced the edge already, I can be pretty confident that as I sew these blanket stitches together, they will help to reinforce that hole and it will be less likely to tear and break again. So this is what the completed hole looks like on the inside, although I need to cut the thread off. And this is what it looks like on the right side of the fabric. It still certainly is visible, 
that it's stronger and it's not going to continue to tear now that it has been mended and it won't be visible because it is between my thighs and no one's going to be looking there um, and it's quite flat so it will be comfortable on the inside of my leg as well without rubbing or being uncomfortable so other than tying off my thread this one is complete I'll tie off the thread now and then we will start on Lane's jeans next This is a pair of my husband Lane's jeans and the problem with his is more towards the back here. There's quite a bit of wear here on this leg. So this hole here is quite significant because it's not just a straight hole, it's actually quite a bit of damage there. So these ones are going to be a bit more of a significant fix. And I think the best option with such a big hole here is that I'm going to have to darn it, which will mend the hole. So I'm going to start by threading a hand sewing needle with some black thread. And I'll start trying to mend this hole a little bit by adding in some extra rows of thread to fill in the gap a bit. If you're not familiar with how to darn fabric, this will be just a very quick explanation. Basically darning is where you're fixing up a piece of fabric that has some wear in it like this by essentially creating a new piece of fabric and weaving new threads into the hole. So to fill in the hole in these jeans, I first ran my stitches horizontally across the jean fabric hole so that they were filling in the gap. Then I take my needle and I am weaving in between those threads going from the top weaving down the threads into the bottom of the jeans. Then, my needle being at the bottom, I start at the bottom and do the same thing, weaving up through those threads to the top again. This creates essentially a new piece of fabric where the worn piece was, and it will make sure that the hole is not as visible, especially if you're using a cotton that is very close in color to the original color of the pants. So again, first I'm creating some horizontal rows across the patch that is broken on the pants. And then I am weaving from top to bottom, making sure that I am keeping the stitches as close together as possible so that the patch is as filled in as possible so that it will hopefully be pretty invisible that I have patched it. This is what it looks like on the outside of the jeans. And this is what it looks like on the inside, which is a little bit more messy and not quite as even or neat or nice against Lane's leg. So I decided that I was going to stick a stick on patch on the inside of the pants, just to ensure that it was nice and comfortable on Lane's thigh. The kids helped me with this process. I didn't film them helping me with Lane's pants, though I did film them helping me with Elijah's pants. So I'll show that to you now. Yep, yep, perfect. Press it down. That'll make your knees nice and strong. Push, push, push. Oh, thanks helpers. So Elijah's pants are fixed and we've already stuck them on Daddy's pants so they're fixed too. Great job! So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed watching this tutorial where I showed you how I mended these two pairs of jeans. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like down below so YouTube knows it's a valuable video. Clicking the subscribe button down below really helps out my channel and it also means that YouTube knows you'd like to see more of my content in the future. So if that button is red, I encourage you to click it so that you're subscribed to this channel. If you'd like to see more fixing projects like this in real time, then I encourage you to follow me on Instagram so that you can keep up to date with what I'm doing. And if you use some of the tips that I shared with you today to mend a pair of jeans, I'd love to see a photo, so share it with me. I hope this video was informative for you and that you learned the skills you need to mend the jeans that you might have at your house. So until next time, go get creative and I'll see you later. Bye!